Hello, Ant Keepers. Welcome back to another episode. I'm Nate, and this is the MyAntics YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about bringing home one of the amazing trap jaw queens that we have in our shop. We're going to talk about the first things you can do when she arrives, how to make sure that she's comfortable, eating correctly, and the best chance that you have to grow her into a colony moving forward. As we all know, first receiving your trap jaw queen can be one of the most exciting moments of your week. Even so, try to keep the viewing periods as short as possible. A few important steps come next, and you will want to achieve these sooner than later. Making sure your queen and her eggs are in good condition is a top priority moving into the first few moments of having your queen in view. After realizing that your dream is now true and you now are the proud owner of a new trap jaw queen, the first big obstacle of adding substrate comes into light. This will be the first time that you come face to face with your trap jaw queen. Slowly and steadily pour the substrate into the test tube. Try your best to roll the test tube slightly so the brood is lifted up a tiny bit so you do not bury them in the process. This may make your queen panic in the first few seconds of pouring substrate. Do your best to finish the pouring as quickly as possible. Soon she will realize that it is good after she calms down. Try your best to have an even amount of substrate all the way back to the water cotton. I've found wet substrate in some areas can give her more of a balanced humidity and a chance to have a more solid structure to walk on. Feeding a trap jaw colony can seem a bit intimidating, but after simplifying it to you, you will have no problem moving forward. Traps need to be fed two to three times a week continuously. Because she is semi-clostral and has a very limited inner abdomen storage for protein, you may see your queen grab the offering and drag it back to her brood. In some cases, she may place the larva and pupa directly next to the offering to feed until they are full and content. Fresh killed feeders are a must, and I personally have not found a formula, mixture, or substitute to this traditional feeding method. Remember to remove all leftover protein a day or two later and repeat. Lastly, to some surprise, traps do not require carbohydrates, aka sugar. I have found they do enjoy a drop of honey from time to time, but just as a sweet treat and should not be included in their regular offerings. Temperature control is an important key you will want to use for the momentum and health of your trap jaws. Most American traps are found in the humid tropical climates and you will need to do your best to recreate this. 
you can try a few methods. Recommended would be incubators, heat cords, and heat mats edged under your colony's enclosure or test tube, to name a few. Uh, I personally found temperatures hovering uh, mid-80s during the day and 70s at night. It can be a good, steady climate for trap jaws to comfortably live and grow without delay. Of course, with heat cords and mats, it can also run the risk of being dangerous, not only from overheating, but from bringing the humidity up to the max. Don't get me wrong, trap jaws do like it hot and humid, but too much can lead to pools of water in your tube, and that's never good. The opposite can also be bad. Make sure you guys keep a close eye on the water cotton to prevent it from drying up and the water supply going dry. In last thoughts, even though trap jaws are labeled as an endgame species along with honeypot ants and leaf cutters, if done right, it can be a very stress-free and rewarding process as your trap jaw colony grows from a lone queen into the colony of 50 to 100 workers edging on maturity. I hope you guys found this video entertaining. I always love watching the trap jaw queens eat and uh, drag food back and take care of the larvae. And I even find it pretty funny that they stick their brood all over the test tube with those little hairs and uh, it's just a cool experience altogether. Well, I hope you guys with your new trap jaw queens at home have a way better understanding on the day to day and week to week care. And with that, I'm gonna end this video. As always, I wish you all a incredible night and happy ant keeping to you all.